In 1997, the Art Bell radio program aired an interview with Richard Hogan regarding the recent discovery of a new room under the pyramids through a secret shaft under the Sphinx. Inside the room was a statue of a black man. This information was suppressed but leaked out through the testimony of an eyewitness guard. Following our excerpts from this program, notice that the Europeans wrestle with their denial of the black African truth even in the face of new undeniable evidence. What this guard reported was that on October 20th, Farouk El Baz, the same man who picked the Apollo landing site on the moon according to the Orion Sirius connection, yes, and two English-speaking Europeans carrying a large aluminum case entered the Great Pyramid that morning for three hours. Do you want to stick with your description of a black man, or would this be a dark-skinned Egyptian, or is that too close a call to make? No, the description was a black, black man. man. A black man. Yeah, yeah. They proceeded to put a robot up the shaft and a camera with a fiber optic connection under the crack in the door. They proceeded to look through to find what was inside a chamber. And there is a chamber back there, according to the story, which is about three meters by two and a half meters in size. Yes. There is a statue in this room. A statue. Of a black man. A black man. Seated, looking up the shaft toward the star Sirius at the Meridian Crossing. Wow. wow. And there's more. There's more. Isn't this getting to be interesting? It is, yes. Now, let's define black. Uh, here's a fact from Jerry in Clovis, California. My teacher, a colleague, told me the Egyptians were very dark Caucasians. I guess this new discovery proves it to be true. They were not black.